Today is gonna to be a little bit different video. This is going to be a collaboration video with Kenny from Life on Beagle Road and Mitch with Made by Mitch YouTube channel. We thought it would be fun to get together and collaborate on this video and make something for our lovely wives. The only requirement for the video was we just had to make something for our wives. It could be anything. I will leave a link down below of Made by Mitch YouTube channel and Life on Beagle Road YouTube channel so you can check out what they made for their wives. For this project, I chose to do a shelf. A shelf to hold essential oils, lotions that my wife makes herself. I chose to use pine wood, and here I'm cutting all the pieces first before I put it together. Now for this shelf, I wanna try something a little bit different and do a different kind of joinery for the shelf. Typically I would use a router with a router table to make this groove out. Instead I'm showing you how to make that groove without having a router. Or you can also do this on a table saw. I am creating that groove just by adding wood and not placing wood in certain areas. So that way you could slide that shelf right in there. I am gluing and nailing everything. Now that we have one of the side walls done, we need to do one more of these. Here I'm making sure everything snaps into place and making sure that everything is lined up right. After sanding it, you could pretty much just leave it as is. Here you could paint it if you wanted to, and so I'm keeping this shelf just natural. I'm not painting it or staining it. And then I also had some cedar wood left over from another previous project. So I'm ripping the cedar wood down to make some trim pieces that go are going around the shelf. The back piece, I'm using a quarter inch plywood and that will just kind of help everything kind of be sturdy but really you don't even really need it because with the grooves that I made it made everything really super strong and sturdy after I put the trim pieces on that back piece 
and I sanded it all down. It was ready to be put in the house. We like to use natural products in our home, which means we make a lot of products and we also um, make products for our skin. I have a, my own skincare line, which is Plain Jane Lorraine, and I'm always mixing different oils together to make a body oil or a face oil or a nourishing cream, and I also make my own deodorant. But right now, I have everything all over the place. I have um, a lot of my oils in a basket, and right now it's just not working. We have stuff kind of all over the place, and I'd like to have something a little more organized. I would like to have some kind of organization that can hold all of my different sized bottles. I've got some taller bottles here and some wider bottles here. I also have my small essential oil bottles and then these really small skinny roller bottles. Oh, and then I also have um, little balms and salves that I make. So everything is all a different size, but I would like to have some kind of unit that can hold all of my oils and the things that I make all into one unit that can show what I have so that way I can find things a whole lot easier. I'm pretty happy how this shelf turned out. I like the natural color that it has. And the most important thing is that my wife loved it. I think this shelf will look really good in our bathroom.